The locals here know every nook and cranny of the swamp. Fawtick Bayou has long been a favorite go-to spot for catfish. A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark.
I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home, and let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. The muscalunge, or muskie, is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here. The overhunting of Fawtick's keystone predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator.
We tend to think of sharks as the damage dealers, but they too get injured from time to time. Freshwater fish currently found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here. Abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator.
There are 70 year olds who survived gator attacks with nothing but a golf club. Come on. Rising sea levels have made once unreachable corners of the bayou accessible. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey.
the gluttonous grouper eats fish, octopi, and crustaceans. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. The fish takes quick evasive action. Shark is now a team, and we should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision-making. 